So this is the second part of how to build a privacy fence brought to you by Butte's Fence Company. You can check us out on the web at buttesfencecompany.com. First thing you want to do is lay out your three treated 2x4s for each section. Then go through and mark your end post. Mark that at about 60, 69 inches. You're going to run a string line and then go through and mark each post. We're going to be cutting these so, so the top of your fence is level. After they're cut, go through and then mark where your rails are going to go on your post. Those measurements are 29 inches and 58 inches from the top of the post and you just measure down. We'll start right here at the gate. We're getting our measurement for our rails. Put your gate post caps on. Screw the rail into the 4x4. Make sure you use galvanized screws. Drill a hole into your metal post and then put a self-tapping screw and that'll hold that on there securely. Now we're going to put our J-bolts on our post. Those are adjustable hinges, so if your gate ever sags, you can adjust the sag out of it. Line it up, make sure the rails match evenly, and then tighten the bolts down on the females. We like to put set screws in the females, just keeps it more sturdy. Mount your latch, and then tighten it securely. And then adjust your gate. Notice on this one, our 2x4, it's a little bit high, and you can see it's dropping as he adjusts it. Once you get it adjusted where you need, just go through and then tighten up those J-bolts. Steel frame gates are the only way to go for a wood fence. Now we're going to run the rest of our rails. You're going to put two screws in each post. That's a 3-inch galvanized screw. Now notice on the end we put those screws to the left a little bit because we're going to have to make a cut. And you're going to butt the 2x4 up to the existing 2x4 and then just continue running your rails. When you come down to your corner, it's pretty simple. Just line it up and then screw it in from the back side. And you'll put two screws for each 2x4. Lay out 16 pickets for each 8-foot section. And then go through and we're going to run our grade boards. You're going to put these pickets on each end of your fence and then we're going to run a string on the top. This is how you're going to keep the top of your fence line straight. Whenever you run a string line over your gate, You'll want to make sure that your gate's going to be able to swing. So once you get your string on there, just hold a board up on the gate and then swing it and make sure it's going to swing just fine. Then you'll run your grade boards on each end for the rest of your fence. Start on the ends and adjust it where you need to adjust it. This line is pretty straight. In this section right here, we need to trench the ground down a little bit. It's going to look better to keep that top straight. Get your first board in. 
and then level it up. Make sure you put two galvanized screws in each rail. So there's six screws per picket. And then every six boards re-level. When you get to the end, you'll just make your measurement. You're going to cut a piece. and just slide it into place and screw it in. For your gate, since we use a chain link latch, you have to cut out a notch so you can reach in and then open up the gate. So you just make your marks and then cut it just like so. And that's about an inch, inch to an inch and a half deep. Screw that in, hold up your other board, match it, mark it, cut it, and do the same. Make sure you leave about a quarter inch gap, that way your gate will swing just fine. You don't want that to be too tight. When you get to the end of the gate, just break the difference. So we'll go about four inches on that, maybe three and a half. Screw that piece in. Start your next one. Remember to leave a gap. So we're going to leave about a quarter inch gap. This is so the gate's going to swing open and close without hitting on the picket. And there you go, that completes this project. Cedar fences really are beautiful. They accent yards very well. If you're in Southeast Idaho, Pocatello area, look up buttesfence.com. We'll come out and install your fence or we can sell you the materials. Once again, thanks for watching. Follow our channel for other videos.